So I signed up for this bike race that's going to be in a few months, and I need to figure out my training plan. So I need to know how many weeks until the race, and I need to know how many days until the race. And there's a really simple way that you can do this in Excel. Let's check it out. Okay, so here's the event that I signed up for, and it's in May of this year. So I want to know how many days into this race, and this is just going to be a simple formula. I'll start it out with an equal sign, and I'm going to subtract today's date from the date of my event. So I'm going to click on the cell that contains that event, so I'm using a cell reference instead of hard coding the date, minus, and I'm going to use the today formula, which returns today's date, and I'm doing that because every time I open up this spreadsheet, then it will reflect that day's current date and give me an accurate day countdown. And so my today formula is today, open, close, parentheses. And then I just simply hit enter, and it returned a date. It may not do this for you. It did this for me, probably because I've been playing around in this spreadsheet. So I'm going to go up to my number formatting, and I'm just going to change that to general. So I have 114 days until the race. So how many weeks do I have into the race? Well, it's almost the same thing, but I'm going to have to divide by 7 to get my weeks. So I'll start my formula out with an equal sign, click on the cell that contains my event date, minus today, open close parentheses, and divide by 7. But if we remember our order of operators, I know that division would happen first, and I need the subtraction to happen first. I'm going to go back into my formula, and I'm going to put this first part, M1 minus today's date, in parentheses. So this way, that happens first, then that result is divided by 7, enter, and I have 16 weeks. Now, it could come back, I'm going to increase my decimal, where it comes back 16.29. Now, there's a couple of ways to get rid of that, which you could just see I increased or decreased my decimal places. So you could decrease decimal and you'll get your 16. But let's go ahead and increase this, and how can I actually make sure that it's always rounded to a full number for weeks? Well, I can nest this formula within a round function. So I'm going to go back in and do that. Let me just double click on that to bring that up. And right after my equal sign, I'm going to put in a round, open parentheses, and then I'm going to go to the end of this formula. Now the round function has two arguments in it. What is the number that you want to round, and then how many places do you want to round it to? We want to round it to a whole number, so that is going to be zero. So my arguments are always divided with a comma, so I'm going to put a comma there, zero, close my parentheses, and now I have 16.00, so I still have to decrease these decimal places, but now I know it's always going to reflect this whole number, so I'm going to decrease decimal places. So I have 16 weeks into the race. Now here's a cool thing that I like to do sometimes, is in my formula, I like to actually add text. Now if I want to add text to this formula, maybe I wanted to say 114 days to go or something like that. I know I have this here, but let's just look at this really quick. So I can use the concatenate operator. So I'm going to go back into my formula, I'll just double click on it, so I'll do it from right here. Put that in there. Now all text is going to be in quotes. Days to go, exclamation mark, close my quotes, enter. And so, oh, and now I, I forgot to put a space. Let me just double click back in there, and I'll put a space after that first quote. And now it says 114 days to go. So if I actually wanted to get rid of this text here, I could do that. But that's a cool thing that you can do with this formula, too. Now every time I open up the spreadsheet, It'll give me a countdown, 113 days, 112 days, and then at some point I can start panicking. But now I have Excel doing the countdown for me. Okay, 
Now it's time for you to give this a try. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.